and welcome to another day. On today's to-do list is edit the Calamity Janes episode for this week. I actually did this one and I think it's it's like a two for one kind of. I'm pretty pleased with it and it's actually kind of a shorter episode so a good one to dip your toe into if you've never given it a listen. That is actually already done. I did that earlier today. Check. You have to get some voice auditions in. That's a must every day. I also have a project that I was hired for last week that I want to get started on. I'll tell you more about that later and it's one that you might not really realize people sometimes hire voice actors for. So stay tuned for that if you're curious, but right now we are going to do the main task of the day, which is an unboxing of a PR package from Sydney Grace. That's right, it is time for their Christmas in July sale. So let's see what all is going to be included in the sale. Ooh. Okay, first, let's start with the new eyeshadow palettes. I love Sydney Grace eyeshadow formulas, and so not that I'm not curious to see what's in the mystery bag this year, but I, I just love a good eyeshadow palette. <gasps> okay, I think this is going to be a comfort zone for a lot of people. I certainly know it will be for me. I mean, it is flesh tones and it is greens. I have all, I treat green like it is a, a neutral, like it's not a colorful shade. It's not intimidating to me, even though it is very much a colorful shade. And these especially, these greens are muted. So if green is not a comfort zone shade for you, this might be a great way to dip your toe into it because, ooh, they are muted, but they are still foresty. It's like a misty forest. Next up, California Coast. Ooh, very complimentary to Mountain Trail. This is mauves, soft, dusty taupes and mauves. I love that you could have them both and see no overlap in the shades. They are two totally different palettes and yet very, very wearable. California Coast, by the way, is the first one to launch 9 a.m. Pacific on the 25th of July, whereas Mountain Trail is on the 27th. Oh, and these are free when you make a minimum purchase. That seems like a steal. Now let's get into the mystery bag. Not gonna lie, I did take a little peek and it looks like there is quite the variety in here. And the mystery bag, by the way, launches or is available for sale on the 26th. And in here we have four powder eyeshadows, a face highlight, <gasps> a liquid eyeshadow, you guys. These are, Sydney Grace makes the best liquid eyeshadows, a lip product, and a brush. Sydney Grace actually came out with brushes. They sent me the brushes. I'm gonna be using a few of them today to apply these to my eyes and face, but they are really nice. It's actually what I was applying, what I used to apply my powder foundation today, and it is a powder brush, I believe. It's really nice and big, but still tapered at the end. These are some of my favorite large brushes to use for literally everything on the face. Bronzer, contour, blush, highlight, you name it, this is a brush that can do it, and it comes with a little brush guard, which is amazing for this brush in particular for keeping it shaped, so I love that. What are we gonna do today? I think I'm gonna mix and match some items from the mystery bag, the cream eyeshadow, the lips, the brush, the face powder, obviously. But because I am wearing a warmer palette today, I do think I'm gonna go in with the Mountain Trail palette, which is just a little bit warmer than California Coast and the quad of shadows that comes in the mystery bag. So let's do it. It is like a duochrome. I know it's probably coming off looking just like a shimmery champagne in the camera, but I gotta tell you, there is a pink shift to this puppy that is just subtle, but interesting. Gorgeous, love it. And in case you haven't seen any video where I've mentioned Sydney Grace cream shadows before, they're the best. I know I said that earlier in the video, but it's worth repeating in case you, like, you really don't understand the best. Oh, I mean, that is easily just a shade you could wear solo, but we need more. And this shade backwards is especially interesting because it's kind of like a yellow that has a, like, is it a green with yellow to it? Or is it yellow with green in it? It could really play both ways, which just makes it so versatile depending on what other shades you wanna wear with it. Mm. These brushes are fantastic too, by the way. It's my first time using any of them, but so far, no shedding. They feel very well made. And honestly, I would expect nothing less from Sydney Grace. Can't do this look without a little green. Ooh. Gorgeous! I mean, it's so opaque, I shouldn't have even put on the cream shadow underneath. Oh, I mean, really, this just makes for such an easy eye. I think, I think I'm gonna call that done. 
beautiful, love it. Now I'm applying bronzer and you know what? I think this is the powder brush. I think this is the regular powder brush and the one that comes in the kit is the medium powder brush. It is hard to tell because these brushes don't have the names on them. Honestly, that is not a big deal to me. If I weren't telling you about them right now, I don't think it's something that I would think twice about. But just so you know, the names aren't on the brushes, which is why it's a little bit harder for me to tell you which ones I'm using and which ones are included. Doesn't mean they work any like worse for it. Oh, my hair regrowth from what I lost when Finley was born. It's coming. I didn't realize how much hair I lost. I mean, it felt like I lost a lot, but like, it's coming in thick. I just did not realize how much I had, but they're kind of cute. I think those short little hairs are adorable, except for this. This is super annoying. <laughs> little bit of blush using the medium powder brush, what I think is the medium powder brush. And then the highlight is what comes in the mystery bag, and this is called Heaven. It is like a frosty, bright, white sort of highlight, but on a brush, oh, I was gonna say on a brush this big, it's probably gonna be more diffused, but no. You know why? Because this is Sydney Grace and we don't do. Everything is super pigmented. If you want light coverage, you have to go light coverage because these products will not do it for you. <laughs> and last up are the lips and I don't think I've tried any lip products from them. This is the shade called Tracy and I don't actually know, it looks like a liquid lipstick. So I don't know what to expect. If this is like matte, if it's gonna dry down, if it's a cream, we will see. Oh yeah, this, is gorgeous. I, you know, it definitely is gonna go with the red tones from the mystery bag shadows. Kind of doesn't really go with the, you know, warm greens that I have, or at least it contrasts with it, I think. Uh, but you know, this is just to wear around the house. This is just to see how this lip product wears. So we're gonna keep it. We're gonna roll with it. I like it. It's more drama than I expected for the day, but let's roll with it. Let's move on to a little side quest that I didn't initially throw up on the to-do list, and that is pump. Is it a side quest if I have to do that every day? I'm not sure, but it has to get done, so let's do it. The pump is now done. I recently learned how to see how many hours I've pumped in total, and it is a lot, and it feels like a lot, but recently I've given myself something to look forward to. I bought a Switch, and I started playing Legend of Zelda, and it is addicting. Oh man. It is either the best thing I've done or the worst thing I've done. Either way, I'm having fun though. I have Zelda, Andrew and I are playing Mario Kart, and then I also have Pokemon Snap. Just, I got it for nostalgia's sake because I loved playing Pokemon Snap on N64, so much so that we didn't own it. We did that thing where you go to Blockbuster on Friday and you rent a game through the weekend. And I played it so much I started dreaming in Pokemon Snap, which is when I realized I needed to put it down. And now I'm remembering why. It's because it's addicting and I'm having to relearn how to like establish boundaries around things that I love. <laughs> Anywho, back to work. I have now done a few auditions. Basically, I mean, unless some, some come in here through the end of the day, I've done probably all the auditions I'm going to do today. Now let's work on that project I mentioned earlier. Oh, hello. Hi. <laughs> they are going to pick up little Fin Fin, who, by the way, start saying mama not i don't think he knows what it means but <gasps> just hearing him say actual sounds that will one day become words mama mama oh my god i am a puddle i am a puddle okay let's talk let's talk about this job so i've been hired for a graduation project and basically instead of having someone stand up live during a graduation and say everyone's names they hire someone like me to say the names for them and actually put them in the presentation. And so that is actually today's job. And it is on the more complex side, to be honest. It's not just naming the names, but it's making sure all the names are said correctly. Sometimes they include um, pronunciations to help and sometimes they don't. And you, I have to edit it to be timed with the presentation, which sounds easier said than done. When I first did this a while back, I was like, oh, it, that's not gonna take that much time at all. Um, you have to have each name fit within a set amount of time, and some names are shorter, some names are longer, which means I have to go in after the fact and add different silence lengths in between each name. And so I'm having to do like mental math as I insert each silence, and I do that for like 
thousands of names. So it takes some time, it takes some time. And so you might hear, oh, reading graduation names and just think like, that's pretty straightforward, but it's not. And there's also the added pressure of if you get someone's name wrong, like that's their graduation. I would, I just like, oh. I would hate to hear my name pronounced wrong on the day of. So I'm just like very focused on getting names right. Anywho, that is the project that I'm working on today. Let's do it. Okay, it is hot and sweaty here in the booth because we have been recording for 40, 45 plus minutes and then some so and you can see there are like all these pauses in here those will need to be edited out and the silence is added in to make sure all the names are at the same increments and so this is just this is just the beginning and honestly i'm about ready to call it a day so wait did everything get done that needed to do that i think so let's let's check outside oh okay Whew, easier to think out here in the somewhat cooler weather. It is 105 degrees here today, and it is, it's just a lot. Another side quest, finishing my gallon of water, which I am very close to. A little ahead of schedule, I'm at 5 p.m. and it is, it's almost 5 p.m. Shoot, I'm right on schedule. You know, I will say this lip from Sydney Grace has lasted quite a while. While I was pumping, I had a little snack, yogurt and granola. So it's not something that goes easy on the lips, if you know what I mean. And even though this doesn't dry down, it's definitely like a high shine, high pigment, almost like a lip gloss. It has some, it has some solid lasting power. You know, the pigment's still there, got kind of a balmy finish. I really, really like it. And of course the eyes, I mean, the eyes are the eyes. I, I love them. I love these palettes. I love these shadows. Well done. Once again, Sydney Grace, round of applause for you. Uh, go check out that sale if you're interested because I there is not a bad thing in the bunch, plus everything else that's on Sydney Grace's website. So thank you so much, Sydney Grace, for sending over that little sneak peek of the sale. And I will catch you tomorrow with another new product that I just got in the mail from Urban Decay. Bye.